Nissan's intelligent mobility vision is to develop AD technologies for use in all our cars in any area of the world. The Human Drive project allows us to develop that for the European driving scene, um, which is seen as challenging because of the varied road structure that you have. Country lanes um, where there is no white lines on the roads and no curbs around roundabouts and fast speed motorways. Atkins has been responsible for leading the cyber security work in Human Drive, uh, focused on ensuring that we understand the security challenges within the Human Drive ecosystem. One of the key areas of impact is all around the testing of connected and autonomous vehicles. It's a really big area for the UK at the moment, um, and I think what's really important is being able to do it safely. What we've been attempting to do is examine the impact of autonomous vehicles on the strategic road network. Now that involves looking at motorway operation and a road operation as well. The vehicle has a number of perception systems based on radar, lidar and camera and it uses these systems, fusing them together to build up a perception of the world around it. It's not just a technology challenge, but how do you make this experience of riding in an autonomous vehicle as natural um, to the customer as possible and to make it feel that they're just driving in another car rather than automatically feeling they're being driven in a very robotic manner. In Human Drive Project, we have used uh, artificial intelligence technology which helps us in the human-like behaviour for autonomous driving. So most of the current autonomous vehicle projects um, are following a set of predefined uh, driving rules and modes. During the Human Drive project, we developed uh, an easily con con reconfigurable AI technology that enables autonomous vehicles to have different driving styles for different people. Um, so, for example, when we manoeuvre around a parked vehicle, we might give quite a lot of space and then speed up and drive quite smoothly around it. Um, whereas some of the CAV development where it might be quite binary, it might stop behind the car, then creep round and back in again. So that's what's fascinating and exciting about Human Drive because we will make the controllers of the vehicle more comfortable, more human-like, so that it feels nicer to be in these automated vehicles, especially when they're coming to a stop or going round sharp curves. So Human Drive has brought some very advanced technology into the UK. We've brought together a lot of very good partners. We've shown that the UK is a really great place to be doing testing with these challenging roads and that the UK government is yeah, providing really good support for, for these sorts of trials. The thing I've enjoyed most about working on this project is being at the forefront of innovation, I think, being able to work on these new technologies, but to have a hand in developing them to a point where they could eventually become part of everyday life that we see on the road. Mm -hmm.